What's up, Lee Jim Beast? Matty Eyes here, Leads for Locals. In this video, I want to talk about what I believe are some of the best ways to make money with Go High Level. And I wanted to make this video because Go High Level is such a revolutionary tool. It gives us so many different opportunities to grow our business, make more money. And I want to make sure that you guys are maximizing that opportunity and, and taking advantage of all the different ways, all the, all the different revenue streams that you can generate with Go High Level. Uh, I actually have multiple income streams with Go High Level. No, which I'm very grateful for. And uh, you really can't beat having multiple income streams. It's just awesome. It really helps you scale, grow. Also, if one of those income streams goes under, you're not completely out of business. So you're really making yourself what I call uh, um, bullet, financially bulletproof. And so uh, I want to share these things with you, hopefully get some light bulbs going off in your head that uh, you might be able to quickly or easily implement into your business to generate that extra revenue. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm covering five different ways to make money with Go High Level. Um, it's going to be freaking awesome. Right? So uh, as usual, my only ask, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Really does help. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all the links in the description. I'm going to have links to different playlists and different videos that go into more uh, in in more detail about how to actually implement some of these strategies. So make sure you check that out. And uh, if you don't mind guys uh, help supporting the channel, do me a solid, go through my affiliate link for go high level. It'll be in the description, two week free trial. Really, really appreciate it guys. All right, let's rock and roll. So the first way we're going to talk about is the go high level affiliate program. It's pretty phenomenal. They pay 40% monthly recurring commissions for the lifetime of your referrals. Plus you can get a 5% override on any referrals that your referrals send as well. And this is passive income that as long as people continue to have their go high level account through your link, it's just going to continue to pay you uh, every single month. And it can add up really quick, especially with a tool like go high level, uh, because it's so powerful. Like once you, once a business has it, it's really hard to get rid of because it does so much awesome stuff for your business. Right. And, uh, I want to cover some different ways to promote the affiliate program. Even if you're not really an affiliate marketer, I'm not a huge affiliate marketer. Um, but I, a lot of my income actually comes from affiliate marketing, a good chunk of it. Anyways, uh, most of it is from my agency, you know, selling courses, my SaaS product, uh, uh, consulting and, and coaching and things like that. But the affiliate uh, side of my business, it brings in a pretty decent amount of income every single month. And basically uh, what you want to do is when you realize how awesome Go High Level is and, and you're getting results with it and it is just completely changing your business for the better and, and helping you grow, you want to share that. Share that with other people in your industry, right? Um, it's not that difficult to do. And uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can offer paid or uh, free snapshots as uh, like a lead magnets or a reason to sign up through your link. Uh, for example, if you, you know, an example could be if you go through my link, I'll give you a free XYZ snapshot. Maybe it's a pre-made funnel or, you know, some type of train. Maybe it's a training program that you put together showing how you're using Go High Level in your business. They get that for free or they pay for it. 97 bucks, 297, whatever. Right. Another way is uh, creating business, uh, business and industry specific uh, content, uh, creating a YouTube channel, a blog. I highly recommend having uh, some type of content channel, distribution channel um, in your business, guys, because this is over time uh, as you create more and more of this content. That's really good for SEO. It's good for your main website as well. Uh, it's just it's just really good to have. So, uh, but it's an also just an awesome way to sell uh, more of your affiliate programs that you're promoting. Uh, so, you know, in this case would be creating content on how to use different parts of Go High Level, you know, maybe some cool automations that you're implementing in your business for your industry, et cetera. Uh, and like I said, teaching people how you use Go High Level, I find is a really good way to get people signing up for, uh, through your affiliate link. So. Uh, definitely a great way to add additional passive income. You know, if you make an extra 500,000, maybe 2000 bucks a month uh, in your business promoting a product that you're using, that you're getting really good results with, why would you not do that? You know, it just, it makes sense to me. Anyways, on to the next one, building an agency, obviously. So if you're kind of on the fence about what type of business, you know, maybe you're just getting started and you're wondering what type of business you should start with Go High Level. These are a couple of different options on the agency side of it because Go High Level technically is built for uh, agency owners, even though any business can use it. But uh, I, if, if you're going down the agency route, 
I can't recommend starting a SaaS agency enough, guys. I'll have links in the description uh, where I have a free SaaS agency masterclass. I just came out with my brand new uh, SaaS agency university, all specifically using Go High Level, how to get to that 10K uh, plus per month mark with SaaS. SaaS is just awesome. It's a really, really awesome value for your clients. You can bring so much value to your client's business, which is really, really rewarding. Uh, to me, that's my favorite part, but also the monthly recurring revenue. Uh, it's just awesome. People pay for your SaaS product every single month. And guys, you can scale to six figures and beyond pretty quickly with a SaaS agency because it's not hard to sell. It doesn't cost your clients a lot of money. They get more bang for their buck. You know, if you get 50 to 100 clients paying you 200, 300 bucks a month, how long is that going to take you to get to, uh, to six figures? Not very long, assuming you build a really good SaaS product. So uh, highly recommend that. But you can also start with a traditional agency as well. The fact that Go High Level gives us so many different tools for marketing, you could start any type of traditional agency if you want. You can focus on providing SEO services, uh, reputation management. You know, they have uh, the, the review system in there, social media management. They just came out with their social media planner as well. And uh, pretty soon, I believe you're actually going to be able to post for all of your client sub accounts through your agency account if you actually want to make the post for all of your clients. I do believe that's in the pipeline. Of course, you know, you can manually go in and, and just post it uh, at the moment. But uh, either way, again, you know, someone paying you 200, 300, 400 bucks a month to do their social media management. That's pretty good. You can also get into website and funnel design. They have phenomenal website and funnel builders, really, really easy to use. And funnels and websites are one of those high ticket services that, I mean, you can make a pretty decent amount of money doing that. Uh, again, I recommend combining all of that into a SaaS agency, but it's totally up to you on where you want to start. Next, becoming a course creator. So maybe you like teaching. I love teaching. I love being on video. I love sharing the stuff with you guys. I have, actually, I got a, now that I'm thinking about it, I should, I, I want to do a count of how many courses that I've made. I, I probably have over a dozen different courses, both paid and free. So uh, it, they're just a lot of fun to create. And it's one of those things where it's an asset that continues to pay you over and over and over again. You create it one time. Of course, you got to do the marketing for it and get it out there. But again, if you have content and, and you're blogging, you've got a YouTube channel, whatever, then, you know, that stuff will grow organically and you just... you. Every month I have people buying my various different courses without getting on the phone with anybody. It's just, I'm putting content out. I'm, I'm putting my lead magnets out there, you know, uh, sending people to my funnel, you know, it educates them. It follows up with them automatically and people eventually buy the course. Uh, so basically what you want to do here is you're, you're sharing your expertise. Everybody's an expert at something. You are better than 80 to 90% of people at something that you do. Okay. Uh, you know, so like when I, when I hear people say, I don't, I don't know what I would teach. I'm not an expert in anything. Yeah, actually you are. If you really sat down and thought about it, like, Hey, what am I really good at that? People might pay me money for to, to learn how to do, uh, you can, you can sit down and, and, and put your expertise into a membership area and go high level has an awesome membership area, guys. It's really easy to use. Very functional, gives you everything that you need. I have all of my courses inside of go high level. Again, I'll have a link down below showing you how to build a membership site inside of go high level. If this is something that you want to do. So, uh, but this is a, this is a really good revenue stream as well. E even if uh, you're an agency owner, you have a business already, but, uh, you want to start adding additional revenue streams. Having a course is phenomenal. Uh, for example, if you've been in business, let's say you're a plumber and you've been in business for 10 years, you're successful, you're doing well. Why not take that expertise of how you have built a successful plumbing business, put it into a course for $497, $997. Uh, if, if you want it to be more automated and just get sales automatically, it's going to be on the lower end, $297 to $497. But why not add that additional revenue stream? All, you, you create the course one time, you know, you, you probably want to do updates and stuff like that, but you don't, there's not a lot of maintenance involved with courses, with, with creating them. Um, obviously, it's a pretty decent amount of work up front, but it's absolutely worth it if it pays you an extra, you know, $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 a year, you know, in course sales, uh, an extra 5000 bucks a year, whatever. You know, maybe, maybe you do an extra course, you, you, get, you sell one course a month, and you make a, an extra three, four, five hundred bucks, depending on what you sell it for. That's pretty good. That's just extra money in your pocket. 
So they're not, they're not that hard to create. You're basically just taking all of your expertise, putting it into a members area. That's all you're doing. And uh, the other thing too, depending again, depending on your business with courses, you can uh, sell or upsell additional services, not to mention promote affiliate programs. In a lot of my courses, I actually promote go high level and people sign up to go high level through my affiliate link uh, from my courses, guys. So there's a lot of different revenue streams you can generate there. But if you're a consultant or you take appointments, you got done for you services, whatever that is, you can put that in your course so that as people are learning how to, to do this themselves, if they want additional help, coaching, consulting, you want us to come in and do this for you, whatever it is, uh, maybe you have a live event, I don't know, then you can very easily upsell those services inside of the course. So it's a, just an awesome asset that I truly believe every business should have at some point. All right, moving on. Selling snapshots. This, is a, uh, this could be a really good high ticket sales business to, to get into if you want. So um, maybe you're on the agency side, but you don't want to deal with the monthly clients and or clients every single month and, and managing accounts and stuff like that. Maybe you just want to sell uh, uh, or or you're just not interested in, you know, 197, 297 a month per client. Maybe you want to sell some, a higher ticket service for 5,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks, whatever. Then selling snapshots can be a really good way to do that. Um, here's what I would stress guys is make sure the snapshot is good. All right. Put, really put some effort into it. Make sure that it's going to get results for your clients. I've seen people uh, put together stuff that is just kind of generic and it's, it's a good start sometimes, but you need to make it industry specific. Uh, at least this is how I would do it anyways. And, uh, it, you know, you need to make sure you have some really good stuff in there. Don't be selling garbage to people. All right. So um, pre-made marketing snapshots for specific industries. I actually include these in my course. I should probably sell my courses for a lot more because <laughs> not only do they get uh, all of the awesome marketing training specifically for their industry, all the lead generation strategies that I've done for that industry. They also get a complete snapshot with the pre with pre-made funnels, websites, follow-up automations, emails, text messages, pipeline. It's like already created inside of Go High Level. Again, it's another awesome uh, feature of Go High Level, being able to sell something like that and literally bring it right into a client's account. They don't have to do anything other than maybe customize or update custom values and stuff like that. Talk about that in another training. Anyways, uh, selling snapshots, uh, marketing snapshots for a specific industry can be a really good high ticket sales. Uh, business, not to mention that uh, if you're doing that and you're not going the SaaS agency route, then you can promote Go High Level. People sign up through your Go High Level link two week, two week to sometimes they give you a 30 day trial as well. But uh, now now you're generating affiliate revenue uh, off of every sale as well. So pretty decent business. If you're more into high ticket sales, I prefer the SaaS agency route. I'm not really big on high ticket sales. It's totally up to you, though, on how you want to run your business. Lastly, this was an interesting one that I was thinking about. And uh, I, I put this one in here because uh, at the time of this recording, we're kind of going into a, a pretty pretty nasty recession, I think it is really on the horizon for, for us, unfortunately. But uh, I was thinking about like different ways that people can make money, uh, start their own business, kind of diversify or just take control. Like maybe, maybe you're at a nine to five job right now and you've been trying to figure out ways to make money online, start your own business and stuff like that. You're just not really sure how to do it. Um, this could be another good way to do it as well. If you're good on the phone, if you like making outbound calls, uh, you like building rapport with people, you, you just like being on the phone, then you could start your own appointment setting business uh, with Go High Level as well. So let's talk about this. Uh, you can actually pretty easily send uh, your clients' prospects into your Go High Level account. And um, to clarify, this business is you're basically going to be setting appointments for other businesses. So, you know, ideally, this would be for high ticket services, maybe, you know, financial services, mortgage brokers, real estate agents, whatever, right? You, you got to do your research on the different uh, industries that you would want to go after. But um, it's actually pretty easy to send your clients prospects into your goal high level account by simply having them use uh, embedded forms and or surveys. Uh, you can also uh, like if they're doing Facebook ads and stuff like that, and they're sending people to landing pages, for example, actually, it doesn't even have to be Facebook ads, whatever type of marketing that they're doing, you can you can use things like, uh, like if you create a form or a survey uh, for each individual client, and you take that form or survey and put it on whatever page they're doing their marketing on, wherever they're sending traffic to get leads, you take that form 
put that on their website instead of whatever other form they're using. Now their prospects, all their leads will actually get sent into your goal high level account, which you can now manage. Uh, you can create an automation for to put into your pipeline, which you would have a separate pipeline for each client. And now you can control all of the follow-up automations, all the appointment setting emails and text messages and all that stuff. You can have that already in place as part of the appointment setting uh, service that you provide. And now you can manage all of the prospects that your clients are sending to you. Of course, you can also, uh, they can send you a CSV file that you can upload. Uh, you may need to use Zapier if they're doing other types of marketing like Google ads or Facebook ads and stuff like that. Because uh, I was saying um, you really only need one sub account uh, for all of your clients to start with. Um, at some point, you might want to have a separate sub account for each client just to keep it a little bit more organized and just separate everything. But in the beginning, you know, your first three to five clients, you could probably get away with having only one sub account and just sending all of their prospects uh, into your account. And now you're reaching out to these people. Uh, every single day, trying to get them on the phone, build the relationship, book the appointment. And now you can charge per appointment. You can maybe do a small retainer fee as well, whatever, right? So anyways, guys, um, that's it for this training. I don't want it to be too long. I just wanted to throw some ideas at you, uh, some different ways that you might be able to monetize this awesome, awesome tool. Uh, Go High Level really is just freaking amazing. They're coming out with some awesome stuff. And, and uh, it just provides us a lot of opportunity to really take control of our financial future, guys. So make sure you're taking advantage of this. Uh, hopefully some light bulbs went off for you. Uh, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. What do you think about these things? Are you implementing any of this already? And maybe share some ideas. Uh, some different things that you're doing with Go High Level that's uh, that's working for you right now. I would love to hear that. So either way, guys, I hope you're crushing it. Uh, stay positive. You know, like I said, I think we're kind of on the, we got a nasty recession on the horizon, but we're going to make it. Um, we just need to keep educating ourselves, level up, uh, keep getting better and better. Anyways, guys, appreciate your time. Talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out.